Hey, so I'm Paul, and uh, what I have here is a situation where I have a bathroom, a full bath in my basement, and I have a sump pump, and as you can see here, the pump, when the water level goes down, the pump does not turn off, so I'm suspecting we've got a problem with the float switch. Um, that sounds like what it is to me. Now, the guy that put this in, it's a kind of weird situation here. This side, obviously, is the out. Got my reverse valve here so that water can't flow back in. Pump pushes it up. But I've got a drain that comes in here, and I think another drain that comes in here. And I think this is an exhaust vent. It goes up and out through the roof. But let me start taking this cover off and we'll see what it looks like. First thing I'm doing here is I'm removing this silicone from around the edge. It'll turn out to be a little bit more of a job than I thought. Stuff is probably 10, 12 years old and really kind of caked on there like cement, like adhesive cement. There's probably a solvent I can use to soften it up, but I'll just chisel away with it with a screwdriver and see what happens. Okay, so I've got this all loosened up here. I can't really get under it now. I've got to figure out how to get these grommets up. But, and there's a lot of like liquid nails or something on there. Let's take a peek under this. Okay, so now what I did is I got this lifted up here. I just put a, little, put a little clamp on there and just something temporary just to hold up the lid so I could look down in there. And when I looked down in, I could see a lot of gunk. Probably something interfering with the switch. It might be that simple. But I'm going to put some water in here and see what happens. Right, so I've got everything cleaned up in here. And the problem, as it turns out, is it is the float valve. Because if I invert it, the pump engages and the water drains out. So it was just not seated down there correctly. And then it's emptying out. So I gotta just figure out how to seat that correctly. And I think that should take care of the problem. I'm gonna use a couple of wire ties here to fix this down here where it'll flip up and not get stuck and then be able to flip back down to turn off so it's kind of dark and dingy down there and let me turn the camera off and see if I can get this hooked up and take a picture for you and this attached like this so water level goes up turn on water level goes down it'll turn off I'm gonna slide this all the way down tighten it up see what happens Turn the pump on. There it goes. Turn the wheel. Look at one back down. It turns off. Nice. Okay. So the water running. I'm gonna let it go through a couple cycles. Get up this junk on the side. Happen. I'll put back together. Looks like this is now operational again. So thanks for, uh, for standing by and being part of this. I look forward to making other self-help videos for you.